Hi everybody and welcome to the Maria Goretti Corner. Well, uh, today what I'm going to share with you is something that's really, really special to me. My name is Maria Goretti. I'm named after an Italian saint, but I'm an East Indian who comes from the West of India. Have I confused you enough? Well, I'm going to decode the entire thing to you. I'm basically East Indian and East Indians come from Maharashtra. They're one of the first inhabitants of uh, Mumbai, uh, formerly known as Bombay. I love that name. So my parents okay, come from a line of farmers. My father's side were landowners, my mom's side were farmers, East Indians were used to be tribal, so basically I'm a tribal farmer. I think that's lovely. Well, every East Indian home is synonymous for their bottle masala. Now what is bottle masala? Bottle masala is basically a mix of a whole lot of really lovely spices that have been combined, that have been first dry roasted and then in the olden days of course they used to have this you know big wooden cask and you had women going pounding into it with those big wooden sticks and that's how I remember our masala being made. But today you can get it in shops, you can get it from people who actually only make East Indian masala or then like in my family my mom's sisters get together every summer and they make East Indian masala well this recipe I have robbed from my mom but you know all East Indians I feel kind of do not tell you exactly what is the final ingredient in it so I'm hoping this has everything in it for all of you So to make East Indian bottle masala, you will need Bedki chilli, 25 grams Kashmiri chilli, 25 grams Haldi or turmeric, 90 grams Dhania or coriander seeds, 60 grams Zira or cumin seeds, 28 grams Til or sesame seeds, 20 grams Khaskhas or poppy seeds, 20 grams Body shape or fennel, 15 grams Rye or mustard seeds, 50 grams, shazira or black cumin, 5 grams, elaichi or cardamom, 5 grams, long or clove, 8 to 10, kali mirchi or black pepper, 5 grams, dalchini or cinnamon, 5 grams. The reason this was called Eastern in bottle masala because you would always find this masala put in bottles. These bottles were of course beer bottles that were dark and the masala was put into it and was pushed in with a stick and then it was sold like that. So it is called East Indian Bottle Masala. I think it's really cute. You still get it today. My mom still keeps it in a bottle. And you can use this East Indian Masala basically for anything. You can use it for fish, you can use it for meat, for vegetables. So now that I've shared my family secret with you, I hope nobody's going to come and... But you know, keep the secret, spread it. That's what food is all about. You're supposed to give secrets out about food, not keep them. That way you don't spread the love. So uh, if you want to make it like how we made it at home, you're supposed to dry roast everything and then you're supposed to grind it. Well, if you cannot grind this in your mixie at home, you can just take it to a grinding mill. Most of them are really sweet and they will grind this for you. And you can keep it for up to six months. Don't keep it for longer than that because it loses its, 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 its essence. So if you want more such secret recipes, don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to the Maria Gretti Corner because here is where we decode secrets. I'm a spy actually.